Hello there, everyone, and welcome to the birth of our brand new podcast. Well, let's be honest, it's not really new, but it's going to have a new look, a new name, and a new format going forward. Hello, my name is Teresa McCloy, and welcome to the Doing What Matters podcast, where as your host, we're going to have great real-life conversations with people who are living from rest, not rush. With this new format that we're introducing going forward, I want to dig deep to find stories and have conversations and talk about how we do this transformational work that I believe God is constantly inviting us to. The invitation to do life different, to do life the way God (laughs) intends for us to do, which is living from an internal place of rest, not an external place of rush. And I believe that there are people out there doing their everyday, ordinary lives like this, and I want to talk to them. I want to dive deep into their stories of transformation, and I want to hear what got them there, what helped them make the shift to do life differently. What are the practices that they're doing? What are the rhythms, the behaviors, the routines that are in place? What tools are they using to do this? And what wisdom can they bring to us about doing what matters? I haven't been this excited in a long time. And this really comes from the book that I recently released called Do What Matters, Living from Rest, Not Rush, Using the Tool of the Real Life Process. As many of you know, because you've been listening to the podcast for a long time, we have a tool, we have a process that uh, I have created here and that will help you do this work, uh, this transformational work of living from rest or living into rest, not from rush. So we have a system, we have a process, we have a tool. We have certified coaches around the world that are using this tool in the work that they're doing. And you'll hear us talk about that on the podcast from time to time. We also have a tool called One Life Maps that we'll be talking about here on the podcast from time to time. But mostly, I want to have conversations with other real life people that are doing this work, whether they used our tool or whether they've used something else. It all belongs and we're excited about all of us. So for the past four years on this podcast, I've been kind of working out my own journey and many of you have stuck around for all four years and you've been a part of it. And I have worked out this journey that God has had me on And it truly began over 10 years ago to say, how can I do this differently? I don't want to live with my hair on fire. I want to live from rest, not rush. And now I help others do the same, but I know there's more out there. So I want to go digging. (laughs) I want to find more, whether it's talking to a live person that's doing transformation or whether it's something that I can pull from a book or a story from what I'm going to call the sages and the saints that I can learn from. I want to dive into those stories and glean what might be there for my audience, you, to learn. So here's the thing about this journey. Everyone does it differently. And everybody does it in a different path, whether they use a process or a book or work with a coach or a spiritual director or whatever that might be. But that place of transformation is so exciting to hear about. I've shared that story in my book that just recently released. And I've also shared the process of how I live it out in my everyday life. But to hear those from other people, I think is going to be golden. And we're going to get golden nuggets each and every week as we dive into this. So the path could be different. But what we can glean, I think we'll begin to see patterns. 
And we'll begin to talk about those patterns and pull out these rhythms, these routines, these practices, and we'll bring those things together. So here's what we need and want you to do in this short little episode that I'm introducing to you of how the podcast is going to shift. Want to make sure that you are subscribed to the podcast. If maybe you've listened now and then, but you haven't subscribed, we would love for you to subscribe. We also would love for you in the next 30 days or so to leave a review of the podcast. If you could go in and we'll give you some instruction of how to do that, but if you can go in and leave a review of the podcast as now it's re-releasing, this is kind of our third iteration of the podcast. First, we had the Enneagram in your real life, which is a tool that you know that we love, like the tool that we have of our process um, for a modern day rule of life, the tool that we have of One Life Maps. They all belong in this mix of transformational work. But then we went to the Real Life Process podcast And now we're going to doing what matters in these deeper conversations. So again, here's what we want you to do. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure that you do a review of the podcast in the next few weeks and how you love the new format. And then if you would share the podcast out with someone, we would greatly appreciate that. We think it's going to be so much fun to hear all of these stories And don't you just love learning through other people's stories, through other people's journeys that they've been on? And we want to make this practical and applicable and pull out those nuggets from people's stories. So come along on the journey. We're going to learn about doing what matters, living from rest, not rush, in these beautiful conversations that we're going to have uh, with my upcoming guests and the conversations we're going to have around books and resources from the sages and the saints here in Doing What Matters podcast. Now, this new birth of this podcast, strangely enough, totally coincides with the birth of our first grandson. And I am so excited for how God just does certain things all at the same time as I have a fresh new Uh, baby boy that I've been able to hold in my hands and the birth of this new podcast and the transformational journey that God continues to have us on. So um, welcome to the world, to my new grandson. Welcome to the world, uh, the new podcast. And remember, nothing has changed in my everyday life I just continue to take the next step and the next journey that's on because it still is important that every ordinary day has an extraordinary moment. I just continue to look for them and see the path that God has me on. So welcome to the new podcast, everyone. We are going to take the journey of doing what matters. We'll see you next week here on the Doing What Matters podcast.